My name is Jason. I'm going to teach you how to make a simple app in Bubble in 10 minutes. Let's go. We're going to start in the design section. This is where you can design how your app looks. Right now we have a blank canvas. Let's start by dragging a text element onto the screen. A box will pop up where I can edit the properties of this element. This is going to be my app's title, so I'm going to call it my to-do app. Get a little bit bigger and we'll edit the style. I'm going to make this a header. And we can use the arrange function here to center it. Now let's think about what a to do app might have. We probably need somewhere to type in our to dos. Makes sense, right? If we look at our element list here, you can use an input element for that. We're going to rename this. You can do that at the top here. We'll call it description since it'll be our to-do description. And again, we're just going to center it horizontally. We also need a way to save this to-do. So let's also drag a button element onto the screen. If we look at our list again, here's a button. Throw it on, we're going to call it save. And I'm just going to update that style again and we'll center it. So our app's already starting to take shape. How can we see it in action? If you hit the preview button in the top right corner, we can see what it looks like. Here it is. Let's try to enter a to-do by coffee. I click save, but nothing happens. That's because we haven't set up the save button to do anything yet. We need to program it. This is where things get a little bit saucy. First thing we need to do is create a table to store our to-dos in. This is where our data will live. Not only do we need a to-do description like buy coffee, we might also need a status to determine if we completed it or not. This is going to be done in the data tab, but let's take a look at our to-do list in a spreadsheet first. Here I have a sheet called to-dos. On it I have two columns, description and is completed. And I also have three records in the list. Pick up groceries, pay bills, shovel driveway. Back in Bubble, a data type is like my sheet. It's a list. So our data type in this case is our to-dos. So I'm going to type, I'm going to create a new data type for to-dos. Now a field is like a column on our spreadsheet. It comes with the default created date, but we also have to add in a few. Let's put in description. This field type is going to be text. And let's put in is completed. And this field type is actually going to be yes, no. Since it's binary, the only options here are is it completed or not. Now that we have our database set up, we can program what our save button should do when someone clicks it. This is called a workflow in Bubble. I can set up a workflow by double clicking on the save button in design mode and clicking on start edit workflow. Here in the workflow section it asks me when button save is clicked what happens. In this case I want to create a new thing. So let's add an action. We're going to go to data things, create a new thing. A new thing is a record in the table or a row on the spreadsheet. In our case it's a single to do. So the thing type is going to be to do. And then we're going to set our description to be the text input that we put on the screen, which we call description. And we're going to set the is completed field to default to no. And we're good. Now that we've told our save button what to do, let's go back to preview mode and click it and see what happens. Buy, coffee, save. Now when we click save, it still seems like nothing's happening. We know that it's entering a to-do into our to-do table, but that data isn't showing anywhere on the app yet. I'll show you a quick way to actually see what's in the table. If we go back to data, there is an app data tab. And if we look in here, and look in our to-do table, here's our to-do, buy coffee. So we know the save button is adding to-dos to the table. Now we just have to display that on the screen.
go back to design mode. To show a list on the screen, we can use the repeating group element. So in our list here, within containers, repeating group, this element will allow me to show a list of to-dos. So let's set a few properties. A type of content is going to be to-dos, data source. Also, we're going to do a search for to-dos. At this point, we're not going to put any constraints in. The next thing we have to do is add elements to the repeating group, like our description. So if I grab a text element, I can throw it into the top row here. And since it's a repeating group, it's going to repeat for every row. See, if I move it around, it just, you can't put it in the, you can only put it in the first row and it repeats. So this is going to be our to-do description in the list. So what I can do here is insert dynamic data. And it's going to be current cells to do's description. Let's take a look. So at this point, you can see I have buy coffee. And if I go back to my to do list, I can put in my other ones pick up groceries. Cool. Um, pay bills, shovel driveway. So at this point we have a simple app that where we can add to-dos into a list. We still don't have any way to complete the to-dos yet. So let's work on that next. Next we're going to add a button into the repeating group just to give us a way to complete any one of the to-dos in the list. So I'll grab another button element and we'll throw it into the repeating group. Cool, so let's create a workflow for this button. Tell it what to do. When button complete is clicked, we're gonna go to data things again. This time we're gonna make changes to a thing because we're gonna make changes to an existing to-do record. So the thing to change, current cells to do's, yes. Change a field, we're gonna change is completed to yes. Great, so that's going to take care of that and the last thing we want to do here is filter our list to only show to do's that are not completed so if we go back into I clicked into the repeating group element if we go back into data source here I can add a constraint this is gonna put a filter on our list we'll say only show records where is completed equals no so now when we complete a to-do, it'll disappear from our list. Okay, let's check that out. Let's say I bought coffee, complete, and it's gone. And I paid bills, and it's gone. And I have to pick up kids. And there you have it, a simple to-do app built in Bubble in under 10 minutes. We actually made it under nine. We're just scratching the surface here, so if you're a Bubble beginner, I hope this starts to open your mind about how powerful Bubble actually is. I appreciate you tuning in. If you like this video, let me know, and I'll start making more. Thank you so much. See you then.